Hi, City of Galveston. My name is Jenny Kovacevic. I'm the meter service supervisor for the City of Galveston. We're going to walk you through a couple of steps to get y'all ready for the weather that's upon us. This is our meter box. As you can see, there is an ERT that sticks out the top. Ted's going to open the box for us. Be very gentle not to rip out the ERT if you do have one. This is inside your meter box. That is your T-stop. Ted will demonstrate the proper way to shut the valve off. During normal weather conditions, the city of Galveston does not allow the operation of our city valves, nor entering the water meter boxes. Remember, this is only if you feel comfortable doing so and are in a dire emergency. We have crews on standby to offer assistance in getting the water off. Show you guys how to uh, properly bleed your backflow and locate your riser uh, shutoff valve for your home. So you're going to locate your backflow, find the valve, and you're going to shut it off. You're going to take a flathead screwdriver, you're going to go to the test port, and you're going to turn about a corner of a turn. It might bleed a little bit. Once all the pressure is off the system, you can close the valve back and leave the ball valve off. Typically, you can find your shutoff valve for the pipes on the inside of your house, outside, located underneath one of your outside faucets. Usually they are a wheel valve or a ball valve like this. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna turn the valve up, make sure it's off. You're gonna open up your outside faucet. Once the water drains sufficient enough, you can go ahead and turn the wheel valve back off. If you do see a leak between the shutoff valve and the meter box, you can give us a call at 409-797-3630. So remember, if you damage the valve, it could prolong our ability to shut the water off for you. Call us, we have crews, 409-797-3630. Let's stay warm, wrap those pipes, cover those plants, and bring in those pets.